Family members will read names of victims of the 9-11 attacks tomorrow, the tradition now resuming after being paused last year for COVID. But as the country prepares to recognize the 20th anniversary, the New York Police Department is preparing for an elevated threat environment. Lydia Hu is live outside One World Trade Center. The latest, please, Lydia. Yeah, hi, Stuart. That elevated threat environment follows the recent bombing at the Kabul airport, as well as the resurfacing of propaganda that celebrates the terrorists who hijacked the airplanes on 9-11. Officials say the call to action by terrorist groups is louder this year than in years past, but they also add that there are no specific and credible threats. There's no information that a terrorist uh, attack is imminent. Does the, is, is the threat raised as a result of what's happened in Afghanistan? In my opinion, yes. No question about it. As I said, they will be yeah. able to come together in a safe haven environment and plan and plot. Now, among the many tools the NYPD will be using this weekend, there will be bomb-sniffing dogs, a heavy weapons team, license plate readers, chemical sensors, in addition to heavy police presence. Now, Stuart, events tomorrow start at 8.30 in the morning. Now, in addition to the reading of the names of victims by family members, like you mentioned, there will also be six moments of silence acknowledging when each tower was struck and when each fell and the times corresponding to the attack on the Pentagon and the crash of Flight 93. The 9-11 Memorial and Museum will also hold the annual tribute in light that projects two beams of light four miles into the sky to both honor the lives lost and celebrate the unbreakable spirit of New York. And Stuart, President Biden will be visiting all three sites of the 9-11 attacks here in the Pentagon in Shanksville, Pennsylvania and the Pentagon tomorrow. All right, Lydia, That's thank you very much indeed.